Welcome to my third Road to WrestleMania video, Pro Wrestling for the Sega Master System, not the NES. If you thought it was the NES version, just like Morgan Freeman would say, you have been misled. Alright, so, and don't get me wrong, I love the NES version, but I want to do the SMS version right here. Uh, it's not as good as the NES version, to say the least, and you have four teams here. I picked the Road Warriors type team against the Orient Express, and I did do a long time no play of this back in 2010. And I thought, I made a joke saying, well, I guess WWE is going to sue them because Orient Express was a WWF tag team back in the 90s or late 80s, early 90s. Well, someone said this game came out first before that tag team was even formed. So this company should sue the WWE. Not really, but... This is a very simplistic wrestling game. Honestly, it's it, it's another game that hasn't aged well. I don't know which is w worse, this or WrestleMania for the NES, but I still loved it when I was a kid, and I got real far in the game. I actually beat the game. In each league, there's like 10 rounds, so this is just the first round here. You got you to win 10 matches in a row, if I'm not mistaken. So this game is very uh, primitive. And I mean, but fun for its time, at least I had fun with it back in the day for the Sega Master System. At least unlike the NES uh, WrestleMania, there's a crowd. There is a crowd in the background, and you can see a referee. And yeah, so at least there's entrances. So in some ways, this game is better as far as the gameplay. I'm about to say the gameplay is better too as far as controls, and I'm not, I forgot how to do more moves on here. I, I'm probably not showcasing all the moves right here. But look at that referee. Looks like, what's his name from Nacho Libre. All right, so again, I'm playing like a ro as a road ro road warrior esque tag team here against the Orient Express, not the WWE version managed by Mr. Fuji. Um, the guy on the apron, ring apron right there with the beard, he kind of looks like um, I'm trying, I forgot his name. He wrestled in the USWA, GWF. There's a wrestler named Chaz in that company, and his dad wrestled too, and it kind of looked like him. And I really got to go back and watch that stuff. I haven't seen that stuff in so long. That's an old school wrestling reference right there. If anybody watching has watched the old USWA, CWA, GWF stuff, WCCW with the Von Erics in Texas, old school stuff right there. All right. Going for the pinfall here. This is easier to pin in this game, unlike WrestleMania for NES. That's the end of that match. Winner, MS. I'm going to go ahead and pick the Orient Express. This time, the tables are turned. I wish you could use tables in this game. You can use chairs. You can use chairs. That's pretty cool. All right, so the Orient Express against the mad soldiers you mad bro i'm an idiot i forgot i'm playing as the orient express pay attention now don't want to make the same stupid mistake i did arrest me a challenge all right so i forgot what movie just did there was it karate punch be cool if you hit the referee but you can't at least in uh the royal rumble games and raw for super nintendo you can definitely hit the referee Referee gets mad and leaves. All right. No, I ain't gonna take your partner. Come here, I ain't through you yet. Oh, that's a rabbit punch. Come on, punch is illegal, ref. Tag! There we go, a touch. Oh, nice body attack. Oh, elbow smash. Jesus, knocked me across the ring. Okay, uh, buttons one and two at the same time is to run. Oh, he missed the body attack. He missed the body attack, King. Ah, what are you, idiot, JR? Ha, ha, ha. Oh, shoot. He's going for the chair. This is ECW now. He's got the chair, King. Look out. He's got the chair. Oh, he just hit him with the chair. Come on, ref. <laughs> this is cool. Zigzag across the ring. Oh. Oh, nice. Looks like I came apart for a second. He's tearing apart, King! Go for the 
body attack. It'd be cool if we could do the loot that's press in this game. Oh, they drop. Oh, he missed. He missed with a knee drop. He's going for the pin. Two. Three. He got up. Remember Tony Schiavone. I remember it was Down Dallas Page versus Eddie Guerrero, Star K96. Tony Schiavone goes, one, two. No. No. I love how the commentators just make it so dramatic. All right, now I'm playing as the Beverly Brothers from the WWF. Crush Brothers. So you're playing as Brian Adams, a.k.a. Crush, and his tight team partner, or whoever he is, I don't know. One half of the Beverly Brothers, I guess. Beverly Brothers, Bo and Blake, man, they sucked. All right. Oh, nice back body drop. So this will be the final match I'm going to show right here. Because there's really nothing else to see. It's a pretty repetitive game. But it's definitely part of my childhood. All right. Now, for those of you who are not aware, um, AVGN was doing his box art cover around the Christmas time. And this is the first one he showed, the box cover for this game, Pro Wrestling. And it shows a wrestler, I guess, holding his own head in a headlock. So it's a headless wrestler that has either his head or someone else's head in the headlock, which I assume is his own head. They did that to be funny. When I was a kid, I thought that cover was pretty funny. All right, so I'm going to tag. Uh, ta tag or touch? What? Come on now. Leave me alone, Hawk. There we go. All right. Let's see what this guy can do. Oh, oh, we're going for the chair. No, you don't. Oh, man. Oh, just threw him against the guardrail. Ah, he missed, you idiot. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, he's pissed. Oh. Oh, he's stomping me now. I already pissed him off. What, what can he do? Oh, yes, that's the uh, back body drop. Yeah, that's right. I tagged this guy back in because the other guy, Crush, over there had a lame move. I like the shoulder or back body drop, whatever they want to call it. Look, look at the crowd's faces. All of them have their mouths open like it's such great action going on. I guess back then this was ECW action. I wonder how JR would call this match. This is a very primitive match, people. This is old school. This is an old skill match. Don't expect too much right here. He's got the chair. Come on, ref. Get the chair out of his hand. Come on. So one of the Crush Brothers here graduated from Minnesota University when they went to Marietta High School in Georgia. He was a linebacker for Georgia State. You have to make some sort of commentary up for this match because I don't know what I was going to say. Unless you get Gorilla Monsoon. He just chopped him in the protuberance or whatever he calls the nipple. I loved Gorilla Monsoon and Bobby Heenan's commentaries back in the day. They were so great together. All right, so I'm pretty much going to finish it right here because he's gone. Just a slow count. Come on. All right, CB wins. Crush Brothers. So that is the end of... Pro Wrestling for the Sega Master System. Stay tuned for more old school wrestling games. And yeah, I, as you know, I'm going to my first WrestleMania next month. But the thing is, Hulk Hogan will not be there, unfortunately, because of the stupid Gawker trial, which I hope he wins. Say what you want about Hogan, but him being filmed or uh, him being put on the, on the Gawker website, that was all wrong. That's a different debate for another time. Um... So hopefully Hogan will be back soon, sometime after WrestleMania, after this Gawker trial, however long it's going to last. And so go ahead and comment below. Tell me what are some of your favorite WrestleMania memories, whether it be with Hogan or whoever. And with that said, I am out of here. Stay tuned. I'm Ron Moore. God bless. Take care.